as millions in the U.S. get ready to ring in the new year, there have already been massive celebrations around the world. In Sydney, Australia, a huge fireworks display lit up the harbour. In Hong Kong, a spectacular array of pyrotechnics wowed spectators. And in Dubai, an amazing light show on the side of the world's tallest building welcomed the New Year. New Year's Eve, thousands in Las Vegas to ring in 2018 under tight security. At those events, there was intense security. In the U.S., law enforcement has been preparing for New Year's Eve for weeks. With rooftop snipers, bomb sniffing dogs, and thousands of officers, the night is hoping for a safe start to 2018. The night has been preparing for Times Square New Year's Eve for weeks. CBS News The idea is to have enough of a visual deterrence so people will look at this and say it's a hard target, said John Miller, the deputy commissioner in charge of counterterrorism. New York's security plan, for about 1 million expected revelers, includes radiation scanners and bag checks, plus multi ton trucks and concrete barriers to guard against a vehicle attack. But this year there's also a special focus on aerial security, with officers inside about two dozen nearby hotels ready to combat a sniper-style assault of the kind seen in Las Vegas in October. Many cities around the U.S. prepared for sniper-style attacks for New Year's Eve celebrations. CBS News What you're looking for is to do what people expect but also what your adversary might not expect, Miller said. Police in Houston may have already prevented an attack, arresting an intoxicated man with guns and ammo inside a hotel room overlooking the city's celebration. Other big cities are also on high alert. Chicago police say they are adding specialized teams with a focus on vehicle-style attacks. And for the first time, Miami will conduct random security checks at its outdoor events. Night officers in Times Square ahead of New Year's Eve. CBS News in Las Vegas, three months after the deadliest mass shooting in modern U.S. history, the city's New Year's Eve party along the famous strip is a top priority of the Department of Homeland Security and FBI, which are sharing personnel and intel. I'm confident every available resource is being used to make sure this New Year's Eve will be safe, said Clark County Sheriff Joe Lombardo. Back in New York's Times Square, Amber Joward feels confident despite the crowds. I don't live in fear, Howard said. So I'm okay. And we have all these police officers around here. There are no specific, credible threats against the celebration in New York, or any other big city. But law enforcement is ready, just in case. Mm -hmm.